Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I what is going on, guys? I hope here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be continuing with Half Past Fate. Now, I kind of know what I... Eight days ago. Okay, so we're on chapter two currently. This is where we left off last time. And I missed an upload on Wednesday, but uh, trying to get things still situated. Man, this game still looks so amazing. I can't believe it. Who the fuck are you? Uh, oh, Anna. Okay. Oh, I can literally smell the festival. It's a little odd, but okay. I thought this was supposed to be a tea festival. It smells like, I don't even know, if it's really not tea. Hey, Anna. That boy named Charlotte. That's a dope name. Charlotte? Hey, girl, what's up? How's it going? Good, I guess. Are you volunteering again? Damn, it's been exhausting. <laughs> Sandy. I've been running around all day. Every year it's such a workout, but especially this year. On the plus side, it's so much cheaper than the gym membership. <laughs> I could I could see that, yeah. Anyway, welcome to the Sunset City Tea Festival. Here, have a have a pamphlet. What's up girl? You've been busy and I heard about it. See you since you left the tea shop. Yeah, I've been busy. Yo, yo what's what is up with everybody on tea? Okay. I've noticed this game, this game has an obsession with tea. I kinda like it. At the same time, it's perplexing. <laughs> I've been busy. I've had, I had a day off today, though. Uh, I figured I'd drop by the fair before it ends. I know you always used to come to this festival, but I'm still surprised to see you here. Miss the tea life, huh? Wish you hadn't quit. I ain't quit the tea life. I just got an internship. Besides, this isn't, like, real tea life. But, you know, I figured I might learn something get some new ideas. Doth mine ears deceive me? Is Anna defying tradition? It's not that shocking. Speaking of defying tradition, how's the internship going? It's at a bank or something. It's a marketing internship at an investment company. You learning any good marketing tricks? Not really. I mostly learn how to make how to take notes and you know follow around important people and make coffee. Yo, that last one is super important. Sure, I don't know. I was just hoping to learn more about marketing. That's why I'm here, to do some research. I see, I see. Well, there you go. Don't let me keep you. Enjoy researching the festival. Just let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Charlotte. Oh, and Lost Valley Tea is <laughs> Lost Valley Tea is here again. I know you like their stuff. Perfect. I'm almost out of my stash from last year. I'll have to pick up some more. Bro, how much is it, bro? Okay. Uh... Charlie and I went to high school together. We used to hang out a lot before we went off to college. Awesome. Especially after she met Jody. Between their relationship and work, Charlotte barely has any time to hang out nowadays. Oh, that's a guy. Oh, wait, no, that's a girl. My bad. I thought that was a guy. But hey, it's all good. No judgment. It's all good. Who are you? You look like the woman that we helped out in the last chapter. Fuck you, I had a paper show. <laughs> she explained to her how her Asi how Asian cultures call black tea red tea, but in English red tea res uh, refers to Ruibo? I'm not sure how to say that, but okay. What's better than a nice cold tea on a hot summer day? A crazy cool snow cone. A crazy cool tea snow cone. A tea snow cone. Tea snow cone. What the fuck? Boy. It's not just iced tea, it's tea ice. Yeah, I like iced tea as much as the next person, but I don't know if I can, but <laughs> if I can in good conscience consider this tea. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, here's the one that you like, Lost Valley Tea. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll try to is my favorite. Every festival, I always stop by there to see what new products they have. Seems to be popular for other people too. They must be giving free samples or something. It's too crowded to muscle in. I should come back later. Maybe I should check out the other booths in the meantime. Swole Tea. Hey, this is also the guys from there. Hey, let's go. 
Let's check him out. This guy kind of looks like he's being swole. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And you want to get jacked just from from just drinking tea? That's not really why I drink tea. Well, now it can be with swole tea. Yay. <laughs> Hi, would you like to try a tea cafe? It combines the best that tea and coffee have to offer. Sounds uh, unnecessary. Would you like to try a free sample? Sure, I guess. I swear if she dies, I can barely taste the tea. It just tastes like watered down coffee. I've seen more and more of these tea and coffee combinations in teas on me. I wonder if it's a trend or a fad. It's probably a fad, honestly. The vendor seems really perky. I wonder how many tea cafes she's had today. Oh, but she constantly, she's like constantly whipping her hair. <laughs> you get tired of the hassle of having to brew, steep, and pour your tea. You went, <laughs> I love how you need her face just changes to like, bro, stop. <laughs> you wish you could <laughs> have the joy of tea without having that tea taste in your mouth. What the fuck do you mean? What? No, that's literally the point of tricky tea. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? Oxy tea. What the fuck is going on? From lush, from a lush, clean world of freshness comes oxy tea, the next evolution of tea that energizes the body, excites the senses, and invigorates the spirit. Sounds like a fucking pyramid scheme. <laughs> Brimming with sparkling flavors, scent harmoniously intertwines natural ingredients to form uplifting revitalizing and balanced fragrance experience oh my god it sounds like a fucking pyramid scheme no more spills no more brewing and no more messy teas oh how nice oxy tea is a cute to find a concentrated oxygen that's infused with the aroma of tea it's all the benefits of tea by just breathing in and with this too plus because you're breathing in You're sniffing fucking air. Tea air. <sighs> There's a, I have, oh wait, here, I can expect it, right? Some vague topics about tea and tea culture, it's not very useful. Yeah. Time. You don't, alright. Looking for a drink that says sophisticated and party animal. In the same mouthful. Well, look no further than tea, yeah. tea time. Okay, yeah, tea time. Tea time. It's time for tea. Okay. How would you like to learn more about tea time? Not necessarily, but okay. Uh, sure. Well, you're in luck. You're looking at the future of parties and fun. Introducing tea time, the tea infused energy drink that works with any drink, anytime. Gives you unlimited energy to party, but at the same time tells everyone unsophisticated and enjoy deep conversations. Oh my god, wow! <laughs> then, <laughs> one mixed with different types of- <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> Her face is just like, man, I'm fucking so done with these fucking people. <laughs> one mixed with different types of liquors. The delicious clear taste of matcha really brings out the smoothness and clarity of your drink. Whether you're mixing it with vodka or fun Russian sweet tea or gin for sophisticated bookworm, you'll ha be having a great you'll be having great conversations and hanging loose with friends every time. It's time, <laughs> tea time, time for tea. Okay, just hand me the sample. Bleh, no term for an energy drink, but it sure isn't tea. Tea time is an energy drink with a soothing tea flavor, if you say so. Not interested, my boy. Not interested. I'll start over here. Would you care to try our matcha smoothie? Or perhaps a matcha cake? You happen to have just matcha tea? Oh, yes, of course. Here you go. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Pro Bio Back Tea? I swear, I it's it. Alright. Hi. The Pro Bio Back Tea brand of kombucha hits <laughs> kombucha nice <laughs> hits shelves 
or next week, we're dedicated to brewing the healthiest kombucha that exists in stores. Would you like to try a sample? Sure! Wow, that's very strong. I love the flavor. Thank you. See, she's liking this side a lot more than that side already. This guy is kind of whack. 1337. Okay. Hi there. What's your geek down? We have something for everyone. Would you like to try an elixir for the shrub people? Or maybe a ceremonial drop of the space knife? The fuck? I'm not really into that sort of thing. Thank you, though. Thank you for stopping by. For sure. Okay. Well, who the fuck are you guys? Just some people are enjoying the festival. Oh, okay. That exactly explains what it is. We're going to the volunteer here. I don't think I've met him before, though. Must be a new guy. This person straight up just looks like they're uninterested in being here. You made a paper airplane out of the festival pamphlet. Exactly. <laughs> you, an acquaintance is my friend's tea shop nowadays. Embarrassingly enough, I actually don't remember her name. Damn, she's struggling to finish her sample of kombucha. It'd be like that though. These volunteer hoodies look so good. Maybe I should volunteer again next year. What about you? She's holding a brochure of Kamasa Badness. For sure, for sure. Okay. Hey. Yo, it's a video game guy. At least I can count on Lost Valley Keys being here every year. Now there's some new to get old. Familiar fin finishes? I don't know how to that. Pretty high quality too. It looks like the vendor is in an argument with one of his, with one of this customers, one of his customers. I wonder what they're arguing about. Wait, what's the difference between green tea and black tea again? I've explained this to you already. Yeah, but I'm still confused. What's so confusing? Why are you here if, when you don't even know the basics of tea? Yeah, that's a little asshole-ish, bro. I was just on my way to the game store and I saw the festival going on, so I just thought, you obviously are not refined enough to appreciate something as sophisticated as tea. Go back to your basement and play video games or something. You're a bitch. <laughs> You're straight up just an asshole, dude. Hey, just because I play games in the basement doesn't make me unsophisticated. Do you have any more stupid questions or are we done here? Please, I can't just look around. Can't I just look around? I thought there was going to be free samples or something. Our samples are for real customers. For example, people who can actually tell the difference between green and black tea. Hey, what's your problem? Let the guy try some tea. This is a street fair for crying out loud. Why are you even here if you don't want new customers? Yeah, we only have a limited number of samples and they are reserved for... Reserved for who? Tea snobs? Sure, this guy doesn't know anything about anything. Hey, but at least he's curious. You should consider yourself lucky that you're attracting new customer demographic. Yeah, lucky. I come here every year and buy Lost Valley tea, but now I'm not sure I want to be associated with such a snobby elitist tea brand. You and your uneducated boyfriend can just leave my booth if you're gonna disrupt my business. He's not my. No, she's not. Please, leave. Hey, thanks for standing up for me. No problem. Hey. I just can't stand it when people act like snobs. Yeah, people are just being assholes, honestly. I mean, it's hard enough getting people interested in tea. And then there are gates. <laughs> gates keeping? Gates keeping. Oh, I'm just gonna say gatekeeping. Gatekeeping jerks like that guy. Gatekeeping? Yeah, you know, like gatekeeping, but it's tea, so steep. <sighs> so it was meant to be a terrible pun. <laughs> no, I got it. I don't know anything about anything, and even I knew that nerdy. <laughs> Shut up. So, um, I actually don't know the difference between green tea and black tea. That's something everyone's supposed to know. Well, I mean, I learned the difference when I was like five. Right. But hey, it's never too late to learn. Yeah, you have to learn, right? Yeah. So listen, I'm uh, actually here to learn too, for research. Kinda. I'm trying to find ways to get a wider demographic interested in tea. And you're, well, you're a perfect research subject. If you wouldn't mind, uh, I mean, not every person here is bad. There's a lot of really fascinating things about tea in the community. I'd hate for your first impression of tea culture to be that good, you know? So maybe we could walk around the festival together and I can tell you more about tea? Uh, 
for my research and uh, I mean you don't have to or anything sorry I just thought I shouldn't have said uh, research subject that's weird I'm sorry what I meant was uh, no it's fine that sounds awesome I'd love to help really <laughs> cool I just didn't expect to meet someone so nice and so um, uh, nice I'm Anna. I'm Jaren. Nice to meet you. So Jaren, let's properly introduce you to the wonderful world of the team. Awesome. I could <laughs> just go share when I walk into this festival. I picked up this brochure when I walk into this festival. Maybe we could follow this festival. Maybe we could see you in here. Uh, right. Sure. Yeah. You can do that. If you want. Sweet. I have great topics about TNT culture. I thought it was pointless, but I guess it's helpful to people like Jaren. For sure. Uh, oh, what do I do then? So, what booth do you want to visit first? I don't know. Lead on. I trust your expertise, Sensei. Alright, Grasshopper. Let's see. Uh, let's go at the beginning over here. This seems like the, the actual way to go. You know, matcha tea. Karen, you have to try this. This is called matcha, which is just Japanese for ground tea. Ground tea? Don't all teas grow from the ground? No, I mean like granny. Tea leaves that are ground up. Oh, I see. Any oh, okay. Anyway, you know how when fall rolls around and everyone gets obsessed with pumpkin and starts growing in everything and it's amazing? Well, that's how I feel about matcha. Except all year round. <laughs> really? Is it that good? Care to try some matcha? Don't mind if I do. Well, what do you think? It's uh, green. You hate it. It's not so. I mean, it has. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> That's okay. Matcha can be a, li be a little bitter. Don't worry. I'm sure there are other cool things around here to check out. For sure. Uh, kombucha, back tea. It's like bacteria. I'm not sure. I like where this is going. You have to at least try it. Hi, the pro brew back tea brand of kombucha hits shelves next week. We're dedicated to brewing the healthiest kombucha that exists in storage. Would you like to try a sample? What's kombucha? It's fermented tea. No. That's really good kombucha. Thank you. It smells rank. Well, yeah, it's fermented. Just try it. It's a tad sour, but it's really good. You're gonna kind of hate me for this. Nope, nope. <laughs> Not a fan. I can't even pretend to like this. I guess it has an acquired taste. No way am I acquiring that taste. <laughs> nope, just nope. <laughs> alright, alright. You know what? Uh, should I make? Should I? Should, I feel like I should make him suffer a little bit more, but uh, I don't want to ruin any chances with him. This booth is a little niche. Now this is my jam. And uh, look, they have Master Shard's medicinal filter. Filter? From episode 12 of Adolescent Radioactive Samurai Lizards. This is so cool. That's just a bunch of random words jumbled together, right? That that can't be. Wow, they even have tea based on the passage of dream light in yesterday's and tomorrow's. I see you know your geek culture, sir. <gasps> what? The ceremonial draught of the space knights. Uh, what? Would you like to try a sample? Would I? Anna, you have to try this. It's exactly what you would imagine the ceremonial draught tastes like. Uh, I don't know what supposed to take like wait have you not seen the chalice quest space knights movie uh i haven't seen any space knights movies <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> it's okay it's okay i guess space knights are not for everyone i'm sure we can find something here for you look around see if you recognize anything anything at all hmm Oh, uh, Crystal Warriors? I used to watch that as a kid. 
Ah, we here we have here a cordial silver light gem mana. Oh, that was from um the episode where they go to the evil guys mines or something, right? Yeah, the mudlord. Right. Mudlord. <laughs> yep. I remember that. She, she's lying, isn't she? Oh, it really does taste like how I imagined it from the cordial as a tea. How I imagined the cordial as a tea. That's impressive. I'll take one of each. That will be 8847. Uh, never mind. I'll just take a box of Space Knight's drop. Ha! Alright, that's $8.49. <laughs> one of each. My boy. No. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day and enjoy your tea. Thank you. Wow, Anna, you're right. Tea can be really cool. This was not exactly what I meant. For sure, I'll take it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, for real. Uh, let's see if you like this stuff. Snow cone. It's not a real festival if there aren't snow cones. Care to try our crazy cool tea? We've got the coolest iced tea in the nation. Sure, I love snow cones. Tea cones. Tea cones. Snow tea? Oh wow, this is surprisingly delicious. It's like an iced tea slushy. Anna, do you want to try one? No, thank you. I prefer my tea of the warm variety. More for me. <laughs> Here's what you did. I'm happy you're doing some stuff. How do you like the festival so far? I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna ask you about yourself. So, Jaren, what do you do? Oh, I work at a video game store. That sounds fun. It totally is. I get to play all the latest video games. I have a wicked employee discount, too. I would probably play more games if I had the time. I used to love games as a kid, but I get really busy with school and now work. What do you do? Oh, I'm an intern right now at an investment company. Oh, um, fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. I was hoping to learn some useful marketing skills at this internship but so far it's been sending emails and scheduling meetings is that why you're here doing research for marketing or whatever something like that yeah i want to find ways to market tea to different types of people get people excited about tea well you certainly got me excited really thank you that means a lot to me nice i'll actually keep talking to you i'm gonna ask you about matcha i can't believe you don't like matcha it's like the chocolate of tea yeah i don't know maybe i'll grow to into it for sure how about Space Knights? You must really like Space Knights. Yeah, I used to watch it as a kid. Recently, they did a reboot of the original Wave Runner timeline. It's incredible. It's hard to beat nostalgia, but objectively, it's as good as the original, if not better. Not everyone online has a different opinion. Regardless, it's really refreshed the series. Right. I know it sounds really nerdy. The thing people don't understand about this is that it's not about the fantasy or the sci-fi or the wish fulfillment. I mean. It is, but it isn't. It's just inspiring, you know? Watching Sir Mason Silver Shield defeat the evil collective against all the odds, knowing all the struggles and hardships he and his friends went through. And yet, they were still able to banish the samurai ghost to the nether dimensions. <laughs> what the fuck? As a kid, it made me kind of feel like I could do anything. It made me want to be a superhero. Change the world. Even though I'm about as far from a superhero as you can get, now, I still like to think it's made me a better person. Uh, I guess I never thought of it that way. Yeah, if you don't know the stories, it can all seem really silly. But the stuff has importance, you know? It's symbolic. Yeah, I understand. I guess it's kind of similar to tea ceremonies. If you don't know the history and culture of it, it can seem frivolous and boring. I used to think they were boring when I was a kid, but as I grew older, I learned the symbolism of it. And it became beautiful. Yeah, well, tea ceremonies. What are those like? Do they have any tea ceremony booths around here? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, man. I'm not sure what to think of this booth. I'm interested in your opinion. I do wish I was in better shape. Well, let's go to the world. For research. <laughs> My boy's face is like, for research, boy. <laughs> hey, you want to get jacked from just drinking tea? Yeah. That sounds great. Here, try some. Do you feel swole yet? 
No, not really. My mouth just feels powdery. Well, I do need to say it's a uh, that it's a supplement. What does that mean? It means you still have to exercise too for it to work. What's the point of the tea then? It's a supplement, man. It supplements the workout. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, tea. Oh, ooh, tea, coffee, or coffee tea. I don't think it matters. Let's check it out. Hi, right, tea cafe confines. Blah blah blah. blah. Whoa, really? Would you like to try a sample? Yes, please. What do you think? I like this a lot. Really? It still just tastes like coffee to me. Yeah, but it's a healthier coffee. And that's pretty bad. I drink coffee all the time, and I always worry that I drink too much of it. This would totally make me feel better about drinking coffee. Huh. That's, I guess that makes sense. So, it's not coffee for drink t uh, tea drinkers like me. It's more like a tea for coffee drinkers like me. Yeah. Exactly. This product is to let coffee drinkers enjoy the health benefits of tea while still being able to enjoy the taste of their favorite beverage. I didn't know tea was so healthy. Tea is actually known to have a lot of health benefits. It can help reduce the risk of heart attacks and stroke, help boost your immune system, prevent bone density loss, and can soothe your digestive system. Oh, you're no tea. You sound like an encyclopedia, but in a good way. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, I'm sold. This stuff sounds great. Thank you. We take the shelves in a couple months. Awesome. I'll keep an eye out. Oxy tea? This sounds cool. Trust me, it's not. Oh, come on. Let's at least look. Did you, do you get tired of the hassle of having to brew tea? Yeah, not really. Uh, I don't know. I haven't made tea before. Do you wish you did <laughs> without having to tolerate the tea taste in your mouth? Wait, do people who drink tea actually not like the taste? No. Would you like to try sample? Sure, I guess. What's the verdict? Well, it smells like tea. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. Come, there. come on. There are better things we could be doing. Yeah. And what about tea time? It seems like the road to end all roads. So, what do you think about tea? About a tea energy drink? That sounds great. I know they aren't the best for you, but I drink energy drinks all the time. Let's give it a go. Hi, are you looking at the future of parties and family shares in tea town? Blah blah blah. blah. You're already blah blah blah. This. Sure. It's time for tea. So what's the verdict? Hey, not bad. Definitely not smoother than most energy drinks. Although I kind of prefer ones with a harder bite. Like wool. Tea time is a much healthier than your. It's also much healthier than your typical energy drink because of the tea. That's great. I'll have to keep an uh, uh, eye out next time I'm buying energy drinks. For sure. Well, I think we visited a new booth. Really? That was fast. Can I walk you out? <laughs> of course. I don't think there's much else to see, but we can wander around a little more before we hit the exit. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just keep talking to you. Uh, I haven't asked you about tea coffee, so so would you like uh, would you actually drink that tea coffee thing? Yeah, probably. I thin my co I thin my coffee out with milk most of the time. Anyway, those tea cafes were just like a different way of thinning out the coffee. Huh? I've been seeing a lot of those tea coffee combination drinks lately. I just have seen they were a fad, only going to be as popular as long as they were fancy and new. That might still be the case. I don't know anything about marketing. <laughs> hmm. What about the tea though? It was... Is that really a thing? I mean, I've heard of incense before. No, no. Tea air is... It's not a thing. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't want to insult the tea culture or anything because that tea air was dumb. Right? That whole thing seems like a scam to me. Exactly! Oh, I thought I was just being a tea noob. I'm glad you agree with me. Yeah, I wouldn't eat that on a hot day. But if they also had lemon flavor, I would definitely take lemon. Oh, you know what? I just had the craziest idea. Imagine putting lemon and tea together. Eh? Eh? Genius idea, right? I'm more of a watermelon type of girl. You're missing out. 
<laughs> Lemon iced tea, anyone? Let's, let's ask about the kombucha. So the kombucha, I, that can't be a real thing, right? Fermented tea? It is. It's really good. And healthy. It's so gross. I can't believe people drink that. Hey, lots of people like kombucha. Like yours truly. It's really good once you get used to it. Okay, okay, sorry. I guess it's just not for me. I'm just weird out by the fermented part. It's not that weird. Do you like cheese? I love cheese. Well, I got news for you. No. Oh no, you don't. Don't you dare ruin cheese for me, la 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 la. la, la. So that's full tea. You mean the protein? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, sure. There are better ways to get uh, better ways to go about getting protein. I knew it. I thought it was just an excuse to sell a little price protein powder. Who drinks tea to get swole? So what do you think about? Tea time. Honestly, it's pretty great. I love any drink, so it's, it's good. Someone making a healthy alternative. It makes sense, although I worry just how healthy it actually is. I'd take a closer look at the ingredients if I were you. I'm having a lot of fun. What do you do when you're when you are at tea festivals? Mostly play video games. I dabble on other things. I got a cookbook for Christmas last year. I managed to cook just by making a new recipe once a week. Oh, that's awesome. My culinary skills are still college food level. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I hear you. I didn't used to think that much of cooking. I thought it all came out smelling the same, you know what I mean? But then once I started cooking, it grew on me. It makes me feel like a wizard, taking all these ingredients and bringing them together and making something wicked delicious. What's your signature dish? My friends say I make a mean meatloaf. Yes, it is. Not just to put ketchup in the sauce uh, on top. But also in the meatloaf itself. That's fucking big brain ideas, bro. That's galaxy brain ideas right there. Sounds delicious. What do you do outside of tea festivals? Work pretty much. I don't have much of a life, honestly. I guess, I guess I enjoy watching movies. Also, I like working out. Those aren't real hobbies, though. Maybe I should stick to cooking. I think I watched that one famous food documentary uh, recently. You are what you eat. It really changes how I see food. Makes me want to cook more. Very rewarding hobby. In a way, you're literally enjoying the fruits of your labor. <laughs> What's your background, Karen? A background? Uh, nothing fancy. I lived in Sunset City all my life, born and raised. Me too. My parents moved here from Japan before I was born. I've pretty much lived here my whole life. Japanese, huh? I bet you can't guess what ethnicity I am. Does American count? For filling out forms? Sure. But for the sake of the game, let's say no. Uh, Latino? People always think I'm Latino, but nope, try again. This game is rigged. There's some sort of melting pot thing. <laughs> Close enough, my dad is half Filipino and my mom is Italian. <laughs> Alright, for sure. I would never guess that in a hundred years growing up we would go to Italy to visit family. Sometimes the Philippines, but not as often. So, I got a little culture in me at least. Yeah, growing up we would visit Japan all the time. I didn't back I didn't back then, but now I really do appreciate appreciate those trips. Yeah, get out of the country, get a little perspective. The food alone was worth the trip. The food where? I don't know, anywhere I guess. Well, thanks for showing me around. I didn't know where so many things uh, I didn't know there were so many things to know about tea. I still don't know the difference between black and green tea. Oh, it's simple. Black tea is oxidized by exposing the enzymes in the cells to oxygen which allow a reaction to create a deep flavor. The enzymes in the cells are exposed by a variety of methods though a favorite is to simply tumble them. And uh, you leave out the tea to get <laughs> you leave the tea out to get old in an airy place. You don't with green tea. Excellent. I'm so tea smart now. <laughs> I don't know though. I'm kind of still just enjoying my store bought generic tea. That's fine. Not everyone can have a refined taste such as mine. Are you sure you're not a snob too? Hey. Well, jokes aside, I have to get going. I have a bunch of errands I need to run today. Oh, before you go, listen, um, I had a lot of fun today. More fun than I've I ever thought I'd have a random tea festival. And you're like really cool for hanging out with me. 
So, I was wondering if, I don't know, you're local, but there's a cool game store I work at. If you're ever bored, I could maybe return the favor and take you through some really cool games. So, I was thinking if I could maybe have your number. Yeah, totally. I had a lot of fun too. Here. It's my work cell. Wow. <laughs> it was great meeting you, Jared. Me too. The game store sounds like a lot of fun. I'm excited to go check it out. Call me. I will. Bye. That, that's sweet. That's sweet as fuck. <laughs> oh no. Aw, oh, man. My stupid sweaty palms smudged her number. Of course, she's long gone. <sighs> nice job, Jaren. What am I supposed to do now? That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Eight and a half years ago. Boy, who the fuck? <sighs> who the hell? Man, that's chapter three. I'm gonna pause it right there. Holy shit, guys. That was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this game. Only two chapters in, but that that's amazing. And I hope you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am. Uh, if you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch now. I stream every other day, trying to keep it consistent. But uh, yeah, uh, follow me down in the link below. Remember, if you're new to my videos, remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, com comment. I have the hiccups, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, you know, uh, show that support. And uh, yeah, uh, talk to me about the game, uh, how you enjoyed it, uh, your favorite parts of the game, and uh, uh, if you're just watching my playthrough, you know, how you're enjoying the playthrough. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Till next time, I'll see you later.